Hello and welcome to Every Dad DIY. I'm Gavin. Today we're going to be taking a look at this fella. It's a pocket hole jig that I picked up off Amazon. It's made by Wolfcraft. So stick with me and let's get started. Okay, so let's open up the box then and see what we got. So we've got the uh, jig itself, uh, it's actually got a ruler on the side of it, I like that. Um, it's four different settings, you have 12mm, 19mm, 27mm and 38mm. Just press the button and slide it out to whatever you're doing. Uh, we've obviously got the four different screw sizes for the four different settings. We've got a Phillips bit for driving the screws. We've got our drill bit for drilling the holes. It's got the smaller bit on top to go all the way through. We've also got the little plugs that go in afterwards to keep everything nice. And this lad I'm assuming is a stop for the drill bit so you don't drill in too far. And then you've your Allen key for working that. So it's a nice basic setup but it has everything that you need to get started. Yeah, so let's take it out of the box then and see how it works. Okay, so I had to stop to read the instructions. I've been using this fella wrong. So what you do is you twist this to flip it over. That gives you your edge, so it can hang on like this. You also use that to get the thickness of your piece. So if you don't know the thickness, you clamp that onto the side like that. And you, you look at the where it is then. So this is just over 18 millimeters. Um, then what you do is you select the size um, here, or the thickness at the side. So if it was 12 mil, you'd set it to 12. If it's 19, you set it to 19. Same with 27 and 38. Um, if your piece is say 35 it's not quite 38 and it's not quite 27 you're supposed to use a smaller one um, now with 19 I should go down to 12 but I don't think that's going to grab enough so I'm going to use the 19 hole so you use that then to set the, the thickness here you can then turn it over and put your piece in you set it to the 19 mark um, and then you get your piece you so you just have to take out this screw not take it out just move it out a little bit slide it on we're going to set it again to 19 which is just about there i'm going to turn in that grub screw then so give it a tighten so that sets our depth so we can take it out so now we have a, a piece on the side we can just put it on here like that and then I'm going to clamp it down to the table now I'm going to put this bit in my drill Okay, so that's both sides done. Now we're going to put our other piece up against this. Okay, so you can see it gives you the sizes here. So between 12 and 18 millimeters, you use the 25. For the 19 to 26 millimeters, you use a 30 millimeter. So I'm just going to grab two of these smaller ones. They're the ones that it says to use. So I've got the two screws in there. Just going to change bits here again. So I'm going to use the bit they supplied as well. Let's see how we get on. Okay, so that's that's holding pretty good um, it's not aligned right that's my fault not the tools um, but yeah it gives a fairly sturdy uh, feel let's see if we can get one of these fellas in so that doesn't actually fit in you must have to cut that down a bit to get it in um, 
try it again. No, so it doesn't fit. Maybe you're supposed to plane the top off or just cut a, a little piece off it. Okay, so from that test it worked really well. It's um, really strong. Um, it left a nice clean hole. Okay, so this time I'm going to try putting the two pieces together like this. So first I'm going to drill out this fella. So they should be stuck together. Yeah, it hasn't come out through the other side. That's a reasonably sturdy uh, joint. Okay, so that's it for my review slash overview of this fella. I'm really happy with it overall. I really like the fact you can measure the thickness with the gauge itself. Um, I really like that. And the other thing I like is it comes in its own case. So it's not just thrown around the place. It keeps all the dust and dirt out. Especially in my workshop, the place gets absolutely destroyed. And yeah, the results are pretty good too. The hole is nice and clean. And it comes really strong joint. So yeah, that one turned out really well. And the same for this fella. Nice clean holes and fairly strong. So yeah, overall I'd really recommend it. Uh, if you want to pick one up, I'll have a link down in the description. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. See you in the next one.